Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ooh, big kitty. Whether your playmate is a 12-pound domestic tabby Meow. or a 400-pound tiger, all cats love to play. Whether it's wrestling, scratching, gnawing, chasing a laser pointer, unrolling your toilet paper. Hey, I need that. Or hiding out in a cardboard box. They're great. But how much in common does your domestic house kitty have with its enormous jungle cat relatives? What are the major differences between them? And what makes both big and small cats among the most effective predators on the planet? You did not just bring another dead bird in this house. It's time for another whiff of science on... Who smarted? Who smarted? Who smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science? Or history? Listen up! Everyone, we make smarting lots of fun on Who Smarted? There are 38 species of cats on the planet. Most big cats are part of the genus Panthera. Small and medium cats, including house cats, are the genus Felis, like feline. Ancient DNA suggests felines domesticated themselves. And, like with many things, it all started back in ancient Egypt. Say, Nefertiti, how do you keep your crops from being eaten by rats? Ah, Ramses, it is simple. I got one of those pointy-eared fur creatures. Fur creature? Is it a god? No, but it is a godsend. It protects my crops, requires little to no upkeep, is self-cleaning, and it is so soft and cuddly. Oh, I want a fur baby, too. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Thanks to their ability to hunt rodents, these early ancestors of today's domestic cats were not only allowed to hang around farming communities, they were encouraged. The Egyptians worshipped them. How do we know you're not a god? They began calling them Kit, Q-I-T-T, which is probably where Kitty came from. Later, Kit became Cat in Old English spelled C-A-T-T. Eventually, the second T was dropped, leaving just C-A-T, cat. Meow. Cats were such good predators. Ancient travelers took their cats with them on land and sea trade routes to protect against rodents. <coughs> Early ancestors of today's domestic cats spread from Southwest Asia and into Europe as early as 4400 B.C. A second lineage of African cats, the kind that dominated Egypt, spread into the Mediterranean and most of the Old World, beginning around 1500 B.C. Today, cats are among the most popular pets in the world. As many as 74 million cats live in U.S. homes alone. <coughs> Meanwhile, there are seven members of what is known as the Big Cat Family. <coughs> the Lion, Tiger, Jaguar, Leopard, Snow Leopard, Clouded Leopard, and Sundra Clouded Leopard. You should Google them later. But just know that all of them are under threat from habitat loss, poaching, and human-wildlife conflict. Denver! But how do small domestic cats compare with big wild cats living in the jungles or on the plains of Asia, Africa, Europe, North and South America? As it turns out, your furry home companion has more in common with a giant lion than you might have guessed. 95.6% of its DNA, to be exact. Whoa. And just like their wild cousins, domestic cats enjoy sleeping 16 to 20 hours a day. <sighs> Both have great senses of smell and can open their mouths in order to supercharge their scent receptors. <laughs> and all cats like to mark their territories, spraying, peeing on stuff, Ew. rubbing their face on things to distribute their scent, and scratching. Ah, not my new Persian rug! Throughout their evolution, wild and domestic cats show very few differences in their genetic makeup. But despite having many similarities with little cats, 
Big cats shouldn't live in your house. Why not if it's just a big kitty? They're still predators with a naturally aggressive prey drive. Even at play, a big cat's huge size and strength makes it a threat. <coughs> Adult male tigers can weigh up to 600 pounds. <gasps> and females weigh between 2 and 300. Big cats can easily overpower a human. And they require a lot of special care and a lot of food. And a bigger litter box. Besides causing danger to their owners, big cat pets need to be kept caged. Which means they can't stalk and run and hunt like they instinctually want to do. I'll just stick with my little cat. Good idea. But guess what? Even your house cats are a little wild. Huh? They're only considered to be semi-domesticated. What? We have a relationship with them but they still retain a lot of wild instincts. Like hunting and marking territory and seeking height. Mittens, get down off that refrigerator. Living with humans has also caused some behavioral changes for domestic cats. They become less solitary and learn to control their aggression, which eventually became embedded in their genetic makeup. They've also developed a better ability to learn and remember based on reward and punishment as opposed to big cats. But do you know the biggest difference between your little lion at home and a lion roaming the plains of the Serengeti? Of course. Besides their size. Oh, no. What about you listening? Any guesses? Well, to hear the answer, stick around. Now back to Who Smarted. So, how about it, Smarty Pants? What is the main difference between your house cat and a lion besides the size? What's that? A mane? Nope. Some house cats actually have manes. Lions live in big groups called prides. That's right. But so can cats. Here, I'll give you a hint. One more time. Did you say roar? That's right. The main difference between big cats and little cats is the sound they make. Sounds, actually. Big cats, like cheetahs, lynxes, and snow leopards, squeak, grunt, and scream. And big cats from the genus Panthera, which includes leopards, jaguars, lions, and tigers, can roar. The lion's roar is the most famous and can be heard up to five miles away because of the specialized structure of its vocal cords. Can you roar? Let's hear it. Wow, that was fierce. Mittens, can you roar? Nope, domestic cats cannot roar. Lions, tigers, and other big cats have a bone in their throat called the hyoid bone that connects the roof of the mouth and the tongue. This bone is soft and flexible, which enables them to roar. In small cats, the hyoid bone is hard and rigid, which helps them purr. Can you purr? Yeah, me neither. That's hard. Now you're just spitting everywhere. But guess what? You can't purr, and neither can big cats. Really? Nope. Lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars can roar, but they can't purr. Cougars, also called mountain lions, pumas, and panthers, are not classified as big cats because they can't roar, but they can purr. But what does a lion do if it's happy? They chuff. Chuff? A chuff is a low-intensity sound that big cats emit in short, loud bursts. Air is blown through the nostrils while the mouth is closed, producing a kind of a growl snort. Can you try chuffing? Careful, did you just blow a snot bubble? So big cats can't purr, but can they meow? Yes, snow leopards, cheetahs, and lion cubs all meow to locate one another or to request food or attention. Meow. Aw, kitty wants treats and pats. (laughs) Ooh, do lions get hairballs? All cats ingest a certain amount of fur because all cats groom, and fur cannot be digested. So eventually they'll cough, vomit, or poop that fur out. Right on the rug. Always. Big and little cats groom themselves a lot. Anywhere from 30 to 50 percent of their waking hours. It's soothing and it keeps them clean and sleek. And plush. And because their tongues transfer so much saliva to their fur, it also lowers their body temperature as the saliva evaporates, keeping little and big cats cool. Why is Mitten's tongue so rough? 
like sandpaper. All cats have sandpaper tongues. It's because their tongues have tiny spines called papillae, which are curved and hollow-tipped, like a fancy comb that sweeps away loose fur. And for wild cats, those bristles also help them scrape meat off bones. Both wild and domestic cats primarily eat meat due to how their bodies use fuel from food to power their cells. Cats evolved over time to metabolize and digest meat proteins more effectively than plant material. I tried veganism once, too. All cats maintain the instinct to hunt their food. Their food source and hunting tactics may vary, but most follow a similar plan. Search, locate prey, approach, capture, kill, manipulate, consume. All cats, big and small, generally prefer to hunt at dusk, nighttime, or dawn. They like to stalk their prey, crouching, moving slowly, then sprinting and lunging. <coughs> Domestic cats often play with their food or hide it. Ah, there's a dead mouse in the bed. Wild cats do the same, moving their prey to hide it or burying it for snacking on later. But I feed mittens plenty. Why does he need to hunt? Cats' hunting instinct isn't exclusively related to hunger. Cats who don't live with people have to hunt to eat, but there's less than a 50% chance of success at each hunting attempt. So they must catch their dinner when they can. Ah. Until recently, cats were largely relied upon to control pests. So your house cat is descended from the very best hunters. That's my tiny tiger. Meow. Domestic cats like to catch wild birds, mice, or other small critters when they can, but they won't always eat them. Because he's so well fed? In fact, Many cats like to eat their kibble or pate in little portions throughout the day, mimicking the hunting patterns of their ancestors. It's also why most cats prefer to pounce on toys with a more lifelike resemblance to prey. Wow, so big and little cats are pretty similar, huh? Yes, but there are differences too. Researchers surveying the DNA of more than 200 cats spanning the last 9,000 years, including ancient Romanian cat remains, Egyptian cat mummies and modern African wildcat specimens have noticed big cats have round pupils, while most small cats have elongated slits for pupils. And big cats have larger brains relative to their overall size than small cats, but both are very smart. So even though tigers and tabbies diverged genetically nearly 10.8 million years ago, the 95.6% of shared DNA means big and little cats are almost perfectly aligned. Well, I love them both. Meow. Here's a big happy birthday shout out to Elliot in San Jose, California. Have fun tomorrow. This episode, Big Cat, Little Cat, was written by Libby Ward and voiced by Jenna Hoban, Sheffield Chastain, Max Komaski, and Jerry Colbert. Additional voices, technical direction, and sound design by Josh Hahn. Who Smarted is recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studios. Our associate producer is Max Komaski. The theme song is by Brian Suarez. Lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colber. This is an Atomic Entertainment production. Who Smarted?